Hello, my dear children. Welcome to the computer science class. In today's class, you are going to know about MS Excel, that is Microsoft Excel 2007 introduction. A spreadsheet is a table that stores data which are arranged in rows and columns. Rows and columns. If you prepare the timetable, how will you prepare? You are using the tables, isn't it? It is arranged in rows and columns. Likewise. And columns. So, a spreadsheet is a table that stores data which are arranged in rows and columns. Rows and columns. A spreadsheet application is a computer program. Spreadsheet application is a computer program. There are various spreadsheet application. They are Excel. Lotus 1, 2, 3. Lotus 1, 2, 3. Open Office calculation. Or Google Spreadsheets. These are the various spreadsheet applications. The, mo the most commonly used spreadsheet application is Microsoft Excel. Now, you are going to learn the basic of Microsoft Excel 2007. The Microsoft Office Excel 2007 is a member of Microsoft Office 2007. It is a powerful tool for organizing data in a way that easy to read and do calculation. MS Excel spreadsheet has many features built in features and tools like functions, formulas, charts, etc. All these make it easy to make to work with large amounts of data. To understand more, let us open Microsoft Excel 2007 and start exploring. Click on start button. All program. Microsoft Office button. Microsoft Office Excel 2007. Click on the start button. Then all program. Microsoft Office button. Then Microsoft Office Excel 2007. Click on the start button. Programs. Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office Excel 2007 From the Microsoft Excel click on the blank workbook This is the first screen that you will see when you open a new worksheet In this worksheet you can enter data do calculation write formulas and review results Excel Spreadsheets have the capacity to organize information into 
approximately 1 million rows and 16,000 columns. 1 million rows and 16,000 columns. There are three important features that you should remember as you work within Excel 2007. The Microsoft Office button, the Quick Access Toolbar and the Ribbon. In the Quick Access Toolbar, Save, Undo, Redo options are there. This button allows you to create a new workbook, open and exiting workbook, save and save as print, send or close. This is called a title bar. This is called a title bar. Then the ribbon is the panel at the top portion of the window. The ribbon has seven tabs. Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review and View in Excel in uh, MS Excel 2007. Each tab is divided into groups. Each tab divided into groups. Groups, the groups are logical collection of features designed to perform functions that you will utilize in developing or editing your worksheet spreadsheets. There are number of worksheets you can prepare. At present, three worksheets. The rows in a worksheet are identified by numbers in the left side of the worksheet. Left side of the worksheet. The maximum number of rows in a worksheet is 10,48,500. The rows are numbered from 1 to 10 lakhs 48,576. Just you can see in the visual. Typing the cell address, the number of rows. Now you can see the number of rows in a worksheet. 10 lakhs 48,576. Now I press the enter key. You can see the number of rows in a worksheet. 10 lakhs 48,576 rows. The column in a worksheet are identified by letters across the top of the worksheet. The maximum number of columns in a worksheet is 16,384. 16,384. The columns are labeled by letters ranging from A to XFD. A to XFD. Active cell is identified by a thick bordered rounded rectangle around it. Data can be entered in a cell by clicking on a cell and start typing on it. As you type the data you entered is displayed in the formula bar and the cell which is currently active. When you enter data sometimes the length of the data may appear length larger than the cell, larger than the cell. And the time la, you can adjust the size by using the cell pointer. Ch children, cell pointer, double side arrow mark order, and extend the size of the cell.